So I'm going to go explore the other four acres of this that I never got to yet. If you guys remember, I ended up at the Blue Barrel last time. So that's going to be our starting point today. Looking forward to at least seeing that creek, how it runs around this place. I mean, this is a nice pinch point right here. This is the one, because you got farm field right there. And then you got the creek just beyond that little farm field, beyond that mo mobile home right there. So right here, you can see this is a great pinch point for deer. This is actually the one I pointed out. This one's even better. So you got the big pond here. That's probably at least 150, 180 yards across. And I'm walking on a, a pond dam here. So this is one of his uh, dams that he made. And then there's the creek right there. And that pond is, uh, wow, that thing is bigger than I thought it was. Uh, it's definitely a beautiful pond. There's definitely a pinch point back there between the pond and that, that creek. Which is the property line. This pinch point here ain't nothing but a, it's a pond dam 20 some feet wide. Beautiful country back here. That's for sure. And if you look close, you can clearly see, it, see this deer trail right here going across these three logs right past this pinch. Wow, this is pretty. I mean, I, I don't know what this guy was trying to do. Right where we are standing, right here. Okay, you look at it and you're like, oh, it's just the bank of the creek. Look again. He. This is all concrete fill all chunks of concrete that i'm standing on all the way down so what what was he trying to do here i have no idea we're going to keep going i see the blue barrel where i left off but uh, this is pretty i mean look at it's too bad them trees are blocking it up but let's keep going wow look at that log jam this thing must really have some volume during flooding times. Oh my gosh. I mean, just look at the size of them trees that are jammed in there. Wow. Either that or he threw them in there to make a bridge, which look at that. Look at, I mean, I was just joking, but look at on the other side. That's all concrete blocks. I bet you, I don't wonder if he was trying to make a bridge right here. It's all concrete fill right there, which is really a travesty. You know, you got a beautiful creek here. And, you know, back in the day, they just dump stuff out anywhere where you can't see it. Right, we're just about in fresh territory. The blue barrel is right there. So, uh, none of this I have ever stepped foot on. Let's take a look. That's pretty. So I don't know if you could see the train different that much, but that bottom there is lowland and it floods. You could tell that because it's just perfectly flat, you know, where water sits. But that'd be a great little food plot right there. I'm standing on, again, an unnatural big hill here. Um, but you could put a tower blind right here where I'm standing put a uh, micro food plot in this low spot it's going to grow very well it should because it's going to stay moist and there's a lot of nutrients in there let's keep going man now we're hitting briars and nastiness i'm following this deer trail though here's some more of the creek look at this little deer trail it literally probably follows this creek but Probably has less briars, but man, look at how steep this is. I better be careful. And 
here you can see this is where they're crossing which is surprising you know this is a pretty dang steep spot on this side and there's no way they're going straight up on that side it's kind of weird Unless, oh, this is beavers. Yeah, this ain't deer. This is beavers coming up and down. That's what it is. It ain't deer. Oh, boy. All right, I better turn the phone off. I need my hands for balance. Here's something crunching in the weeds. I wonder if I kicked up a deer. But I'm at the very, very back now where the creek turns. There's some big, big trees back here. They're maples. At least a couple of them are. I, mean, I don't think that's... No, that's not an oak. They look like maples. They're big. Be a nice stand spot right in between all of these. Big cluster. change course here but so that so this property line keeps going that way because it follows the creek this looks like another moat that he dug right here so there's the creek right there you got a big pile of spoils right here and you've got a cut right here now that I'm walking through that I don't know if this was another one of his moats that he was trying to put together because it is just about to the edge of the property although the creek is right here to the left that don't make a lot of sense well here now it's filled with water up here yeah i was right it was another one of his little moat things so here's the dam to it i guess the spoils anyways it's not really a dam but here's his moat here on the right some deer turds there's the creek on the left and look at his moat oh he's, he's following the creek here back here with the moat makes no logical sense to me whatsoever Let me get, try and get a better view. There's the creek. And I'm still following this moat thing back here. I probably should get across this in case I get stuck out on this island here. There's a spot right here where you can cross. And then you could even see, uh, see that set of tracks there. So he had a dozer. Or some big machine that was in here unless this is just them uh, you know uh, backhoe tracks man this thing goes a long way back here especially when it's gnarly with weeds so there you can still see this wide set of tracks so he was digging all the way back here that's a pile of spoils here on the left side. Oh, jeez! And I fell in one of the wheel tracks. Ruts, I should say. They're not even tracks. They're pretty deep ruts right here. Oh, maybe that dozer's back here sunk in the mud. I mean, it's weird because you can hear cars, okay? It's fairly close to that road, but it's really remote on the other hand because you can't can't hardly get back here. I 
This looks almost like he was digging right here, right here in front of me. It's like he dug out. Let's keep pushing back. Oh, another deer carcass. Not much left to that one either. Another nice micro spot right here, micro food plot. For eight acres, you could actually put a micro plot here. You're going to pull deer from that direction. And then that other spot was on that far end of the eight acres by the creek. So you could actually have two micro plots on this eight acres. And it would lay out halfway decent. Nice. So we're almost to the very farthest part of this eight acres back here. Creek is really pretty back here. And that's all looks like some kind of CRP thick bedding across there. So you could definitely pull some deer in. A little green plot here. I think I'm gonna get out there and take the road back because this is kind of a mess walking in here. All right, we made it to the absolute farthest spot on this property. This is where the river bends. There's the water line. <laughs> the water guy was telling us a story about that. I don't know if I can tell it all on this video, but this, anyway, so the creek, I'm at the very farthest point. You can see it does a complete U-turn here. There's no way I'm gonna get back to the road. I guess I gotta take this way. So anyways, uh, the part of the story that I caught that was this guy digging is they wanted to buy that junkyard they offered him a hundred and fifty thousand for it because they had to they had to rerun the water line it's city water and he said no because they could have they could have hired someone for fifty thousand to come in, clean it up, and get rid of the stuff and still been ahead. So what they had to do was they had to run the new water line. Out here, they had to bore it under the creek, run it along the road, it cost them 150 grand. That's what it was, I'm sorry. They offered them 50 for the property, which was way more than what it was worth. And uh, he turned that down and it cost them 150. To, to bore that new water line around. Well, there's some fresh beaver carvings. So yeah, I mean, he, he kind of had a reputation. Here. No doubt about that. Look at all the beaver action here. All these white, white stumps, you see these are all fresh, fresh beaver. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen plus. And this is all really fresh. Okay, not not as fresh as the one by the camper, but fairly recent. I guess you don't need a watering hole on this property. We're almost back to the pond, which is still not back because I got to negotiate across that thing. There's some more beaver trees cut down. Now I got to get across one of his moats. Take a look at the creek here. I have not seen it in this spot yet. This is up by the road. Oh, that's pretty. I mean, having a creek as a property line is definitely an advantage. No doubt about that. Especially one that's really hard to cross. Look here, that's an old something steel. Steel on the outside with ceramic on the inside, but it's attached. It's, it's buried way down. I can feel the tension on it. Who knows what that is? No dozer, though. Here's one of his moats here. I'm gonna try and get across. 
Oh crud. Well, we're close, but we're a long ways off. I just I popped out in the middle of the back side of the pond. So obviously I didn't remember the exact route I took the first time. So now we gotta go back. Find a way around the pond. Yeesh. Alright, I found the way I crossed last time over there, but I got a choice here. I can go this way and fight a lot of briars. Or you see that little trail there. I can go there but risk slipping and blowing one of my hips out. Because it is slick. I guess I'll fight the briars. Look here, I found a beaver souvenir on the ground. This is a... It's been eaten. You know, you can see all the bark off of it. It's a nice little spearhead. It's pretty heavy. I feel. I don't know if it's a hardwood or what that is. But here you can see they are gnawing at this bush. Okay, I made it across. I had to kind of crawl across this uh, narrow spot. All right, now we're back to the original starting point of part number one. Starting out on this middle pond in between these two ponds. So. Hope you guys had fun. I'm full of briars and cockleburs and everything else, but no bulldozer. Oh, yeah. you see that? Casey's trying to yank on that international. Let's see if he needs some help.